we have embarked on a whole new understanding of the nervous system. Your brain thinks about ideas and what you want to do, and your spinal cord executes all the details. So first of all, complete paralysis is not a thing. There's something here we didn't really understand. Fast forward now, we have over 20 people who were supposed to be motor paralyzed and all of them have moved voluntarily with the epidural stimulator. People think too linearly about everything, right? Yeah. Oh, this connects to this and it increases and decreases the heart rate. Yeah. No, that's like way too simplistic. Well, it's, uh, it's really, really an honor to be here. Something quite surprising and extraordinary. The first time we turned the stimulator on, this is what happened. We were stunned. We didn't ask him to move. We couldn't understand how it was happening. He was motor complete and he moved voluntarily. We are just scratching the surface of understanding paralysis. And there is so much hope for these individuals. There's so much knowledge that we have that can help them right now. It can help them in their daily lives. It can help them to move better. It can help them to breathe better. It can help their heart. It can help their circulation. It can help everything that they're doing. <laughs> just did everything with these kids. They're just a happy family. Keith Smith was uh, my best friend right out of the gate. I met him during EMT Academy. He just uh, one time showed up with a motorcycle. Didn't know how to ride it. I hopped over in the ditch next to the railroad tracks and I found him face up without his helmet. It was supposed to be me and Keith saving lives together. And now I have to use this training that I learned on my best friend. The doctor took me in his office and showed me a screen and showed me this little white dot on the screen and said, this is Keith, he's gone. At one point, they came up to me with a piece of paper and wanted me to sign for his, his organs. Three days later, all of a sudden, all the blood that was in his brain is gone. It comes out of his coma. Keith was told that he wouldn't do a lot of things, that he wouldn't speak, he wouldn't breathe on his own, he would never walk, he'd never stand, he'd never have you know, use of his arms, you know, nobody gave him hope. I felt like my dad thought his whole injury was a lost cause and that he could never get better. And then he started researching and finding out all these things. And that's why I'm doing these trials. Because I promised them I was going to stand. Yeah. And I did. So wait, you've been in Kentucky. Dude, I stood up for 32 hours already. Shut up. Big things are happening because of Dr. Harkema. She changed our whole world, man. Now we got this, the number one SCI researcher in the world on this with the upgrade star and the star of a lot of other things. You're gonna make this huge. Thank you so much, bro. Brother, I'm here for you, man. I know, I You're here it. for me and I'm appreciate here for you. It, man. You know, and, and you know, that was fake. This, this is real. This yeah. is, this is incredible.